Needs Brothers Dairy. With mustard and relish, you'll guarantee mouth-watering satisfaction. Mmm. And now he sips his costume on a beautiful golden bun. There's his cue break, break. to go out on stage. He's the natural. He's the rage. Meet this person at a tea at our refreshment counter. Treat the family. How do you like your pizza? Gobbled? Nibbled? Two-fisted style. You like ours best anyway. A crisp, delicate crust mm -hmm. topped with our own special nippy tomato sauce, seasoned just the way you like it, and lots of golden Italian cheese melted right in. Delicious, and on sale now at the refreshment center. Pizza, piping hot and tangy. How about some right now? Starts in two minutes. Yum, yum. It's time for a tasty and refreshing snack. Promise to satisfy your hunger, your thirst, your sweet tooth. So visit our refreshment mm, center now. Let's go. Show starts in one minute. Hi. You hungry? Looking for a tempting treat? Hold on till I absorb some heat. Some added tang might please you too. I'll slide into an oven fresh bun, and I'm ready for your eating fun. Why don't you try a juicy good hot dog? Mmm, delicious. And now, on with the show. And now, ladies and gentlemen, time for the show. Once again, oh, thank wow. you for coming to our theater tonight. Have an enjoyable evening. The refreshment stand will remain open for a short time. Still plenty of time to get a snack or cold drink. We'll make an announcement before the stand closes to give you plenty of time to get that last minute treat. Hello, 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 everyone. Happy Sunday. Happy Sunday. How's it going? Hope you're all having a good oh, one. Wow. If you checked out my new video today, um, I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, I, if you haven't, it was a video on arcades. I went to an arcade oh, and I played wow. some arcade. Uh, so it seemed appropriate to play some arcade for stream. So that's what we're going to do today. 
Does that sound good? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, I did not find a Taiko game, a Japanese Taiko game. Okay, so that's what I'm going to do. I don't have a huge intro planned. Uh, I put out the video, and now I play the game. Right? Shammer12, thank you for the 14 months. Arcade! Aired Nam, thank you uh, for the 11 months. Mastoria, thank you for the 16 months. Uh, the video went uh, the video that went live today was awesome. It was such a great idea, and you seem to have a lot of fun out there. Keep it up, Ian. I did. Um, I wasn't lying that I've been kind of arcade-obsessed a little bit. Been, like, watching arcade videos, playing virtual arcades. Uh, I, uh, it's like, it's just gambling. It's not surprising. It's just more gambling. It looks like they've done some updates here. Um... The children are, like, in costumes. The robot children? I think the money machine got a new... Yeah, these are definitely different. The money machine got a redo, too. Mm-hmm. Let's see here. Option unlock. Okay, um, I read, I briefly read an update, um, like, a, the headline of the last update, and I know that they reset all of the scoreboards at some point, so maybe we can get back in there, um, I don't know, I know that after I did the video, it, it became a lot harder, <laughs> it became a lot harder to move up in the leaderboards. Is my jazz music too loud? Let me know if my jazz is too loud. Mo Chicken, thank you for the 23 mm, months. Uh, this actually showed up on Wednesday, then it mysteriously disappeared. Anyway, almost two years. Yay. Engage smooth jazz. I'm fine with it being just a, a little loud. What is this? Frankie's quality fireworks? Seems like there's a fireworks stand now. Um, ooh. The pointer is different, too. Oh my god, the robots are of different heights now? This one is on some type of... Uh, skateboard? This one is smoking? Oh, this one is broken? Oh no, it's got a sparkler. <laughs> uh, that's pretty great. Miss MJ is fine. She's laying here waiting to be played with, um, as usual. Oh my god, look, this one's uh, knitting a scarf. It's the parent robots. The parent robots are here to uh, supervise the kids. Mm, what a hamburger. That's kind of amazing. I don't know, let's go check the prize booth. NES Marsh, uh, thank you for the 11 months. Oh, it looks like the, uh, the prize booth man got an update. Let's see. Hey, birthday kid. <laughs> His shirt just says what on it? Um... I don't see any new prizes yet, uh, but that might be on the list. It it definitely seems like he's been uh, busy. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we got 50 bucks. A uh, bit of Bandito. Thank you for the prime sub. Uh, Kelinsk. Kelinsk. Thank you for the prime sub. Draxy, thank you for the 37 months. Mmm, hot dogs. Okay, this is a little loud for me. The, uh, my jazz. Turn it down just a little bit. 
just a little bit. Okay, I'm gonna try and stick with the 50 bucks. Let's do our best to not go to the money machine. Uh, did he redo the mega drop? The mega drop looks a little bit different. Oh my god, I love the hoverboarding uh, robot. Look at him go. <laughs> what a hamburger. Oh my god. Which arcade game is the most difficult? In this game, uh, I don't really know. I know where I'm going to go, though. I'm going here. They didn't have this one at the arcade I went to for that video. I was kind of hoping they would. That was bad. I want to go to more arcades. So, oh, bummer. Um, I mentioned I went, was going on a trip in between the two streams. Uh, okay, it looks like I got a chance to move up. I'm 393 on my first play. Um, it was my boyfriend's birthday, and so uh, I took him on a trip. Oh, fuck, I, the first one I missed. We did like a little staycation. Uh, we went to Dallas, stayed in a, a nice hotel, went to a barcade. We went to the Dallas Aquarium. It was nice. It was a nice, uh, nice little break. But at the barcade, the barcade was like a free play thing. And uh, so they didn't have any ticket games. I kind of missed them. It's fun to play point games, but I don't know. Something about winning tickets. Something about quantifying how well I played with prizes. There we go. Indie Popcon? Maybe. I don't know. Maybe. It sounds a lot like I'm doing EGLX. This year, that sounds like it, what it's what I'm gonna do. Oh, okay, already yep. up in the top 100. Yep. I'm gonna do one more of these. I really want to go play coin pushers. Uh, the main event that I went to had a few coin pushers, but I really want to go play more. It's like a combination of playing Dunko in here and watching LGR's coin pusher oh, video. There we go. I've heard about uh, Nickel Rama Snurd. And uh, I know that round one is also a popular one around here. I'm glad you guys enjoyed it. I'm glad. I'm glad I can make videos where I don't have to be, like, funny all the time. Like, I don't have to cram a bunch of jokes in. It's nice to just go and do something. And then make a nice video about it. I'm stuck. Oh. That's kind of cool. That's new. Mm, what a hamburger. You actually get to carry around. You got to pick up and carry around your tickets. Okay. But I would definitely do another. There's enough machines just at that arcade alone uh, to, to do another visit. Like I said, I was mainly focused on claw machines when I went. There it is. Give me that K. Give me that K. Give me that K. Ooh! Hell yeah! Well, that's cool. I'm interested to try maybe other things. I don't know. Like, I could have made a video out of our trip to the aquarium, honestly. The, the Dallas World Aquarium was amazing. If you're ever in Dallas, I highly recommend that aquarium. It's 
see me try DDR? Maybe at some point. Maybe at some point after I get my knee fixed. Oh, wow. I feel like that's probably not a smart idea while my knee is... Yeah. I'm crushing Dunko right now. Uh, but I used to be pretty good at DDR. Maybe better than you might imagine. I was like, a, I was like on the line between standard and heavy. Um, my main drawback now is that I have no stamina. Because I don't move. So, I just get winded very easily. So I could maybe play the first, like, ten seconds of a song and then be like, ah. Yum, yum. <laughs> Oh. Ooh. Oh, sick. I can pick up. Oh, did I not pick up tokens? The tokens drop. Mm, what a hamburger. I love rhythm games, S Star. Yes. I, um. I am a big fan of rhythm games. Oof. Ooh. Crushing. I am destroying Dunko right now. My knee's okay. I'm going I'm going to get it checked out on let's see here. Tomorrow I go to see how my blood work done was done. Remember when I said that they took a ton of blood from me and I almost fainted? I go get the results of that tomorrow, and then Tuesday I go uh, for them to, like, scan my knee or whatever. And uh, we'll just go from there. I'm going to be the, uh, the Dunko champ. They have definitely updated coin games since last time I played. Uh, when we started the game, there was an ad for a fireworks stand. Uh, so I'm interested to find that. I don't know if the carnival is here yet. I know he's adding a carnival. Uh, which I think would be awesome. Mm, Thanks, Mark. Hamburger. This game is still early access, yes. Give me the D. I want the D. I'm here asking you politely. For the D. No. 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 Okay, there we go. Corn dogs. Uh, why do the Dunko letters only light up some of the time? Okay, so see the red light that's going on the bottom? You have to, the coin has to pass in front of the letter at the same time that light is lit up. So that K didn't count because the red light wasn't there, but that one did. God! I'm crushing it. Destroying. Okay, let me read a couple things here. Satan Daddy, thank you for the 11 months. Getting close to that popped corn. Haven't been on in a while, but hey, Ian. Hello, Satan. Uno Bert, thank you for the 11 months. Hey, Moose, uh, your new video was amazing. I love that you always find new themes to show us. Thanks so much. I'm happy you enjoyed it. Leppy Girl, Leppy Girl, thank you for the six months. Happy half a year. Love the new video. I'd love to see more like it. Sprout Stuff, thanks for the 36 months. That's a lot of months. E Entertainment, thank you for the 17 months. What should I have for breakfast? Coffee. Coffee, that's what I had. Kate Mac 93 thank you for the 17 mm, months. Really loved the new vid. Really made me want to find the nearest arcade. And Celine, 
Thank you for the five dollars. Footy tooty, tart fart toot, de la fruit. Good afternoon, Ian. First stream mm, I've watched. Heard. Thank you, Celine. Those those were some great lyrics. I'm assuming they were lyrics. Footy tooty fart, toot de la fruit. Right. I, I was legit worried I would get kicked out of the arcade. <laughs> I don't know, like I said, I've never really filmed something in public, and it wasn't like a typical, you know, when, when at least the ones that I've consumed, I've watched a decent amount of arcade videos by now, um, and most of them seem to be more of a typical talk at the camera kind of situation, where everyone around you listens to you record a YouTube video. And so mine wasn't even that invasive, and I was still worried about it. I was still like, oh no, they're going to come tell me to go away and never come oh, back. Wow. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh. Well, that's the first time. Geek of Love, that's the first time I've really filmed in public. Uh, outside of, I guess I did the PAX convention once. But, like I said, it, it didn't feel too weird once we got going, because it didn't feel... The way we were, were filming was more like, I don't know, just people out recording a fun, you know, personal mm, thing. It wasn't too over the top. I, didn't, I wasn't running around screaming or doing like a skit or something, so it, it wasn't too bad. I'm not super disruptive. The only Jesus difference was that I was, uh... That's big money. Excellent. Oh, better. It was big money. The only difference was that I was uh, wearing a wire. And that was a little weird, because I had my mic on. Mmm, delicious. No, Danny did not help me film. She's thousands of miles away currently. Unfortunately. Oh, excuse me, that was me. Let me mute mute my Discord. What is happening? Is this Christmas? Is it Christmas? Mary Jane Glitter, thank you for the three months. Absolutely loved the new vid. I loved watching you have fun, and it got me in the mood for the coin game. So this is perfect. Animorphs420, <laughs> thank you for subscribing. Uh, Ornithoptera, thank you for the 15 months. Wow, over a year, give MJ pats for me. Oh my goodness, MJ was... A bad little kitty while we were gone. So I have, I'm paranoid. I'm a paranoid cat dad. And when we leave, I put um, like a security camera in my living room and it gives me like motion updates anytime she moves. So literally anytime she moves, I get a phone update so I can like che <laughs> check in. Um, and so she's not supposed to be up on the kitchen counter. That's a no-no. And she's really good about not getting up there. But I tuned in to, to check in on her. And she was jumping on the counter, looking around at stuff. And so for the first time I used, I can actually talk through it. I normally don't because I don't want to make her more lonely. But I was like, hey, get off the counter. And she, she looks back to where the voice is coming. Clearly, uh knowing it was me but kept doing what she was doing and we couldn't tell what it was we just heard her knock something off the counter jump off camera and we just heard some other noises she knocked off a bag of her treats and just went to town just chewing she didn't really get to them but she chewed up the bag like crazy um there were these like like the real pieces of tuna that are sealed in little pouches she was trying to get in there. Bad. Bad cat. She knocked over your cactus. Time for kitty lock. Like, that's the problem. I need kitty locks. The problem is... 
Like, we can't even leave our... We've had to move her food into our pantry because it's the only kitchen door with an actual, like, latch. Because now she knows how to open doors. This morning, she woke me up because she was getting into my dresser because she was bored. She was opening my dresser doors. So we left her foods in there, and we left it open accidentally yesterday. And she went in and started chewing up the bag because she was hungry. She is learning. She's very smart, which I don't know. I wasn't even angry when I got home and found it. I mean, I don't even know how you punish a cat. I don't know if that's something that you can do, but I was mostly, oh, you're so smart. Her eye is doing better. Her eye has been fine. Um, we just switched. We've switched her food and her uh, litter. So we've switched to a litter that is dust free. And we've switched her to some uh, some weight loss, weight control food, because uh, someone needs to drop uh, some pounds. And it's not me. You can't punish a cat, you just have to discourage. That's kind of what I figured. Uh, you can punish a dog. Uh, dogs definitely seem to have... I mean, she knew that she'd done something wrong, but instead of looking guilty about it, it's almost like she's defiant. Though she did hide behind the couch when we got home. Instead of coming to say hello, she hid behind the couch. So she knew. She's probably just... She hasn't been getting many treats, like I said last stream. Uh, trying to watch her weight, so she's... She's been exercising without getting rewarded for it lately. We had sticky tape. We put sticky tape on the counter long enough to, I thought, discourage her. But she's smart enough to know when we take the tape off. <laughs> so... I don't want sticky tape on my kitchen counter forever. Okay, we are already at 65th in Dunko. That was a good round of Dunko. Look at all these tickets. So anyway, cat ownership has been everything I've, I've wanted and more so far. Okay, got some work to do on most most tickets one all time. Oh, version one. It looks like the maybe the leaderboards will refresh um, occasionally. I gotta say this sparkler guy. I don't know about how intense the smoke is. It looks it looks like a fire hazard. If I'm being honest. I'm not at the top. So these these have been reset since the last time I played. So I'm officially on the bottom of all of these leaderboards. Because they have been reset. We did get a water sprayer. We, we have recently, as of today, obtained a water sprayer uh, for discouragement. For rebelliousness uh, control. Sparklers aren't legal in, is that Massachusetts? Mystery bonus mode. Oh, hell yeah. I played one of these at this, that arcade. I guess I put it in the video. I need to, next time I do one of the arcade videos, I need to bring my better camera. I brought like this guy, the Ian Cam. And the footage just came out all muddy. And really, like, the size difference of these cameras is not drastic enough to where I went. I shouldn't have gone with this. I mean, this is my nice camera. I should have just taken it. I kind of love the smell of sparklers. I don't know. Anybody else? I feel like the smell of sparklers is extremely nostalgic. There's nothing. People who want fireworks go buy them in New Hampshire. That's crazy. Is it because of fires? Were there too many fires? Okay, I'm pretty far... Four? I'm pretty four down here. Mm -hmm. 
Mm. The ones that you put on cake to break me. Yeah, I don't. I don't like them on the cake. Not on a cake, though. I don't know. I guess I was never crazy about birthday. I mean, it's fine. Birthday cake is not. It's not that it's bad. It's just like me. Spark, hell yeah, sparkler smell. I love campfire smells too. Okay, I dunked that one. I mentioned in the video that it's hard or that I didn't think you were supposed to time this one. But since recording that line, I've come to realize that I I think you are supposed to try and time this one. Though it's incredibly difficult. Blowing out candles on a birthday cake is pretty disgusting. You know, I've never thought about that. But now that you think about it, you're basically offering people cake that you just breathed <laughs> and possibly spit all over. Um, that's an intro. I'm not going to look at birthday cake uh, blowing. Birthday cake blowing? There has to be a better way to phrase, <laughs> phrase that. Jackpot! How much was that? Oh, hell yes. 2000 It'd be cool if the jackpots ran on, like, a global scale, so it was like we were, we were all sharing the arcade. I don't know if that's even possible. So maybe the next video I'll do... The, I can't do coin pushers because there's only two at that arcade. I'll have to go to a different arcade and, and see if I can find other ones. There's definitely an update out, Waluigi. I don't know if it's... Oh, hell yeah. 40? I don't know... I don't know what they've added, though. I still don't know. I don't know if the carnival's out. I would, I would definitely be interested in a pinball one. Um, the reception of this video is going just fine. So... I don't know. I kind of want to... I mentioned this on a on my Patreon post about the video, but I, I'm a guy who, like, goes through phases of interests. Um, so I'll get really, really into something for, like, a month or two. And I want to start talking about that stuff, even if it's not a typical video topic for me. So right now I'm into arcade stuff, so I kind of want to talk about arcade stuff right now. And even though it kind of seems scary from a YouTube perspective to hop around genres and stuff, I think I want to do it anyway. It just didn't feel like work when I made that video. The arcade video, it was fun. Oh my god, there's two! There's two hoverboarders around. Okay, let me read. Let me read a couple things real quick. Ornithoptera, thank you for the 15 months. Wow, I read this one. Give MJ pets for me. Uh, son of a Time Lord, thank you for the 14 months. I've been watching Kill My Love vids, and I forgot how ridiculous these streams can be. Anyway, thanks for the 14 months of lulls. I think dogs should vote. I think dogs should vote. Okay. Val, uh, 1981, thank you for the prime sub. Mike Cabela, thank you for the 40 months. The big ol' 4 0. Your latest vid def got me in the mood for some arcade fun. I uh, hope I get to go sometime. Keep up the good work. Thanks, Mike. Brett Mwooks was. Thank you for the 13 months. Peach Tarts, thank you for the 100 bits. Hey, Ian. Don't know if you remember, but I wasn't feeling too great at the last stream, and you said. Uh, you hoped the stream helped. It did cheer me up. Loving this game. Can't play it from the Mac, so it's nice to watch you play instead. Have fun. Hope you win something good. Thanks so much, Peach Tarts. Uh, I'm glad you're feeling a little bit better. Okay, let's Hockey Hut. Um, we got $37 left. Uh, should I go for hockey? Oh, crap, this is timed. I should just be going.
Okay. There's that. Ooh! I'm trying to get the letters. Oh, it's over. I have not been drawing more lately. I really want to. I really, really want to, but I... I cannot stop playing Minecraft. Every time I'm sitting down and I'm like, I want to draw, I play Minecraft. That was 250. That was a big one. So you don't want to? That's not true. That's not true. So I'm not allowed to want to do two things at once. You've never wanted to do two things and you choose something else. I refuse. I refuse that belief. Mostly I'm just too lazy. Drawing takes so much effort and I just want to sit back and man, Fort Pringle is looking so good. You guys are going to be impressed. Don't complain about not doing that thing that I second most prefer. Well, I do. I complain about most things. What was that noise? Who is singing at me? I would like to complain about whoever is singing at me. I, I, I have wanted to though. I need, I need to draw. Last time I drew, I was getting back in the groove. Oh crap. Lazy. She's like, play with me, play with me. And then I, I'm done with hockey hut. Hockey hut. Can hockey suck it? But I'm taking those tickets. What's my oh wow subscribe? It's from uh, Invisible Dad. If you go watch my Invisible Dad YouTube video, you will understand the oh wow. Uh, alert. It is a time for joy. It is a time for peace. Oh, that was bad. Did I ask the arcade if I could film there? I didn't. I don't know if you're... I don't know. I don't know... I was too nervous to ask. My plan was to go in and film... Because I knew I wasn't going to be disruptive. Um, and they have all this, like... They have signage around that's like, Hey, tag us in your pictures and videos. Which sounds like permission to film to me. Um, but my plan was just to do it and then explain myself if I got... If, if they had an issue with it. Oh, crap. I probably should have asked. The responsible thing to do would have been to ask. And honestly, if I had asked and gotten permission, I would have felt more... Oh, I would have felt more comfortable. Anyway. I did not meet any fans there. It was actually pretty empty when I went until the school group showed up and then I left. Because I went at like... I went at like Tuesday at... I don't know noon or something sorry my cat demands demands attention and she needs to move so she can drop those pounds if I asked and hadn't gotten, permi gotten permission we wouldn't have had that video that was kind of my thought process as well not saying that it's the right mindset to have but I figured it would have been better just to do it. I don't encourage my actions, but those were my actions. How's that? I do need an MJ emote. Oh, that was terrible. Give me off this stupid chicken. I 
I would have definitely asked permission if I was a, if I was planning on like screaming and and running around, but I was I was really minding my own business. I'm going for the rings. Give me that 500. Give me that 500. Hell yeah. I really wish I'd won like a prize that I wanted to win. That's one of the things with uh, those claw machines is that a lot of the time it's like stuff you don't, the stuff that's winnable you don't really want. <laughs> and I still have like, I still got the crap that we want. It's like, what am I going to do with this? Oh, yeah. So, I don't know how I'm going to do it, but I'm, I, I printed two of these. These are my uh, picture things. So, I figure I, I, I could give that to someone. I could, I don't know, maybe sign it and send it out. Because I have two, and I don't need two. But like these, the prize toys, these carnival toys, they're so weird because they're all designed. I didn't know this until I ex inspected them. They're all designed to like hang and face forward. So there's like nothing on the back. Like this tail print is weirdly only on the front. It, that, that's strange, right? It's so it can hang in a glass thing and you see the stripe, right? Same with this guy. There's nothing going on back here, but he's got a hook so he can be hung. It's very interesting. They're made to be displayed, basically. How much would one more? Okay, so when it comes to the second video, um, one of my ideas, if I do another, is to find something in the prize room. Oh, that was terrible. That I would like to win. And then try and win it. But also track... Track how much money goes in. Because one thing these arcade channels don't do is track like how much they... Or that I've really noticed. Oh, crap. Is how much... How much was spent what tickets were won where and basically tracking like w which oh crap machines were the most efficient i think could be interesting at least for me shay pm thank you for the five months oh my god i just i need to move to a different machine Move to a new machine. It's a mistake. It's a mistake. Though I am uh, 261th. Hey, get out of here. But I would definitely do like pinballs and stuff too. I went to, like I said, I went to like a barcade over the weekend. They had a lot of pinball. I tweeted a picture of my two favorites. There was. Uh, Monster Bash, which is basically all, I guess all the monsters are in a band or something. Like, you got Dracula, Frankenstein's monster, Bride of Frankenstein, and you act, the mummy is in there, and you actually get to fight them. Like, you summon Dracula out of his coffin, and he, like, flies around, you're trying to hit him with the pinball. Uh, that was awesome. And then, uh, Attack from Mars was like Martians were coming to attack and you got to like fight the UFO. It was super cool. There's very unrealistic expectations about how possible it is to win. Yeah, I think the coin game, the actual developer states that unlike real arcade games, these ones are fair. 
So I agree that it does give you unrealistic expectations, but it's nice to play it that it's fair. I almost won a stacker actually at the arcade. I got oh, crap. I got I got up to the major prize and I lost it while I was uh, at that arcade. Yeah, Attack from Mars, I think, was my favorite of the night. Okay. Also, I'm pretty sure I was standing backwards on the jump rope machine. I didn't notice until I was editing the video, but I'm pretty sure I was standing backwards on it. I'm just going to take the tickets. I need tickets. Two out of five, not rigged enough. Ooh, I'm already 142nd here with just 100. There's a guy whose username is Poopy Butt. Anyone play the uh, Roller Coaster Tycoon pinball machine? So disappointing. It's like the theme is perfect because mm -hmm. the pinball rails look like roller coasters, but the machine is so boring. Sailor B O O. Thank you for the 200 bits. Ah, oh, yes. Virtual arcade time. Heart. Thanks. I, I'm down. I'm down for virtual arcade. Like I said, it's basically just gambling. Um, maybe my channel just becomes a gambling channel. Oh, crap. I do like to gamble. I hope there's gambling in the new Animal Crossing. Local Dave and... You know, there's really not a Dave and Buster's that close to me. I know they're around, but main event was easier for me to get to. Also, I think round one might be closer to me than a D&B. A &B. Though, I didn't know that apparently you can buy food with D&B, like, points. Is that true? Yes. She says it's true. Oh. YouTube's best gaming, cooking, Disney channel original movie game. It's basically like... I feel like my channel is becoming like... Not upscale, but different... Like a different type of vlogging. Like just vlogging interests. Or what I'm doing, like the food stuff. I don't know how I would categorize other than variety. Yes. Oh, someone is on my desk. She's never... Okay, she's never like this unless I'm streaming. I think it, it's because I'm talking. I think she's responding to my voice somehow. Oh my god. She is now... She is behind my computer monitor again. Ooh, 45th. I'm going to keep going just because I feel like I'm rising the ranks pretty fast here. I'm not winning hay. I'm winning tickets. <laughs> I'm winning tickets. Ooh. Someone's shaking my monitor. I want to go back, though. I'm already ready to go back to main event. I left some money on my main event card just as an excuse to go back again soon. I have not won a prize from Stack'em. Honestly, the time I played recently at the arcade was the first time I think I've actually played a Stacker, I think. I do think that's cool that cats only 
meow to humans. Oops. That's not where I wanted that to be. Oops. 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 How much main event money did I spend? See, that's the thing. That's where I want to track the money. Because... Um, like, the editor in me, when I watch these arcade videos... I'm always like, well, how many takes did you not include before you hit that jackpot? How many times? Because it would be so easy just to take it out. So, uh, I want to be more open about how much went into each game. Because I think that's interesting. But I, I really don't remember. Oh, my boyfriend started playing Persona 5 again last night, actually, after begging. <laughs> Because I want to know, I want to know what happens. But I think, I think he started on the last dungeon. Uh, last night. It's still so good. Hello there. What's my favorite arcade game? Ooh, I don't know. Give me some time to get back into going. Because I really want to, even if I don't make more videos, I mean, I, I plan on it, but I want to go to arcades more because it's a lot of, it's a lot of fun. And I kind of forgot how much fun I had doing it. Let me hide my toolbar real quick so I can see the bottom of the screen. Let me hide. How do I hide? Toolbar, casket, show. I don't know how this works. I don't know how computers work, man. I don't know how computers work. What do I got tickets wise? Welcome to Larry's Arcade. I got 8,900 right now. Um. I kind of want to... I'm going to go back to Dunko. I'm, I'm going to dunk it. Let's see here. Let's try this hey, one. What a hamburger. Hey, kid. I'm a computer. Oh, my God. I was watching a streamer, and he made... You ever get those really old references that almost give you, like, nostalgia whiplash? It takes you back, like, so far, so fast. I was watching a streamer play Minecraft the other day, and he made a four strength, four stam leather belt reference. And immediately I was like, oh my god. Video compiler. I had to go watch him. I went back and I was like, oh my god, this is what we watched back in the day. Ventrilo harassment. I actually didn't, like, when I heard it, I didn't remember where the reference was from. I had to look, it was that bad where I was like, I know that's an old thing. What was it from? It was a uh, video compiler. What do I watch for casual entertainment? Uh, like I said, I've been watching, it's, it usually re reflects what I'm into at the time. So I've been watching a lot of Minecraft uh, videos and streamers and some arcade videos. And then I also watch a lot of uh, garbage TV and sitcoms. Let me read some things. Jiggle Billy. We were watching Aqua Teen recently, too. Snurd, thank you for the two months. Loved the arcade video. If you ever need... If you need any other arcades to go to, there are two in Richardson. One called Nickel Rama and another called Free Play. I, I don't remember what the bar arcade we went to when we went to went to. It was Cider something. Cidercade is the one I went to in Dallas. Uh, recommend it. If you're ever in Dallas, check out uh, Cidercade. You buy ciders and you it's a free play. It's like 10 bucks and you can play everything. Aaron na na na, thank you for the two months. Icicle Dreamer, thank you for the three months. Whis Wisteria Scott. Thank you for the prime sub. Mighty Yowl 86. Thank you for the seven months. 
Rural Juror. Thank you for the 200 bits. Nice Dunko. What garbage TV? Um, what garbage TV am I into right now? Uh, well, I watch... To fall asleep lately, I have been watching... Um, what the fuck is that show called? My Lottery Dream Home, which is a nice mix of gambling and HGTV. I like uh, Bachelor shows. I like uh, 90 Day Fiance. Uh, stuff like that. Thanks, Kevin. Uh, Sitcom-wise, we just started checking out a show called Shit's Creek, which Netflix has. They advertise it to me so much, but I avoided it because of the name. It's really, really good. It's like, it, it's insane. Like, the writing is so good. It's so funny. Highly recommended. Just finished catching up on Silicon Valley because I hadn't seen the latest season. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. Nirvana, the band, the show. I have no idea what that is. Oh, we need to get that fishy card. That is not the one with Rail Rain Wilson. It's with Eugene Levy, and it's like a father-son thing. Like, they created the show, and they play father and son. I forget the other one's name. Silicon Valley is good. It's still so weird how they got... I mean, I know he left the show, but... T.J. Miller's exit is so strange. The Office is also amazing. Brooklyn Nine-Nine is pretty good. I need to watch it again, I guess. Uh, it's, I kind of ranked that one as uh, kind of like the same level as like Superstore, where it's not like hilarious, but it's good to watch. I've played poker on, uh, on tablet. Poker Stars. So it's similar to Arrested Development. Yeah, yeah. Sure, yes, sure. It's a sitcom. It's a sitcom, it's like a post. I guess Arrested Development was a good, uh, like a turning point kind of for sitcoms. So it's a post Arrested Development single camera sitcom. Oh, we got the fishy card. What is that five? Five. I don't know what it is, but I want it. I want to get the five. They had a SpongeBob coin pusher that I was just uh, destroying. Oh my god, I really want to get into uh, Santa Clarita diet. That's that's on our list actually. Anyone see, okay, anyone a fan of, um, fuck, I should know his name before I start the sentence. His name is Danny McBride. Uh, he just put out a trailer for his next show. It's him, John Goodman, Adam Levine, somebody else that I, I, I'm not remembering off the top of my head. It's called uh, The Righteous Gemstones. Uh, I'm, I'm sold. It looks like it's gonna be great. I loved Eastbound and Down, and I loved Vice Principals, and I'm I'm stoked. Yeah, Santa Clarita Diet was just canceled right before I started to get into it, which is a bummer. What kind of shows are those? So those are like 
kind of dramedies, I guess. Um, I hesitate to call them a sitcom. I, it's not really a sitcom. It's more. It feels more narr. They feel more narrative focused. Vice Principals was done in a way where they had the entire show planned out and they filmed both seasons at once. So it didn't it doesn't like wander. I don't know. I don't know how to describe oh, it, but I just wow. I really like his style of show. And so I'm really excited for uh, this next one. I did not watch Friends. I wasn't allowed to watch Friends growing up. And then when I got around to it, eventually, I just didn't care. I just didn't care. There is a narrative connecting the episodes. It's, it's very narrative. His, his stuff is very narrative focused. And I hesitate to call like Eastbound and Down a sitcom because the whole idea of a sitcom is that it revolves around a single location. But he goes every season, he changes. He's all over the place. And like the cast is always changing. It just always feels like it's progressing, which I appreciate. Okay, I'm going to win that five, whatever it is. I still don't know. But it's also like drama-y. Drama. Dramedy. So we got the card, whatever it is. And I'm still dominating Dunko. Look at this. What do the coins do? Am I getting, am I getting more drops? When I pick up the coins, or am I getting money back? I don't understand. Uh, I don't really understand where these coins go. So many of your teen students are obsessed with friends. I guess it's really easy to get into older shows since they're all like online. Oh my god, oh my god. Anyone watch Bar Rescue? Uh, John Tafford, he goes in and, and renovates bars. He, like, squawks and yells at people. We just saw a, a trailer yesterday for his new show called Marriage Rescue, where he's literally just going and fixing people's marriages. And we're like, what, what qualifies you? What the fuck? <laughs> what? What? It looked like a joke. It seriously, I, I'm still not a hundred percent certain. Yeah, so he does like Gordon Ramsay for bars. Basically, he's like knock off Gordon Ramsay for bars, and now his new show is literally marriage counseling. So strange. I have to watch it. I have no idea if he has training for it. No clue. But I'm gonna watch it. I mean, the thing is, those shows usually turn into some form of therapy anyway. Like, Gordon Ramsay's always giving people life advice. Tafford's always giving people life advice. So I guess it kind of makes... Ooh, I'm 45th. I'm cruising. So I guess it makes sense. But it doesn't make any sense. I've been watching the new Wife Swap, which has been bad, but I continue to watch. We just watched the episode yesterday with the the rich family that changed place with the uh, people in the bus. I think the problem with this Wife Swap reboot is that the original had so much drama. And I don't know... I guess it may not feel that way online, but maybe people are getting more, like, better at, like, tolerating people or accepting people because they they set up these people and try and edit them like they're having these huge conflicts, but they're really just chill. They're just like, oh, so you have a different way of life. That's cool. Oh, so you're doing something else. That's cool. And so it's not as interesting because in the old ones, they were always, like, screaming at each other. Oh, well, of course it's fake. Everything. It's reality TV. It's fake. Thanks, Morel Mushroom. There we go. 
I'm really excited to watch the end of Persona. Basically, Persona's basically like watching a movie, honestly. For me, because I'm not playing it. I just get to watch. I don't know mountain monsters. Felt bad when the kids would be dicks to the new mom. Yeah, see, none of that really happens. One of the people says, uh, one of the girls was like, I like you better than um, my, my own mom or something at one point in the show and they like milked it. They like, they like played it like four times during the entire, maybe more during the entire show because it was the one thing that happened that was, oh my God, she said that thing that's gonna really hurt the mom's feelings. They used it in the commercial. Yeah, that was the entire episode. That one thing happened and that was about it. Still watching Drag Race. Still watching Survivor. More videos of Texas. Well, like I said, I, I, I kind of feel like I could have done a video at the aquarium, the Dallas Aquarium. We really want to go to the Fort Worth Zoo soon. Uh, I might I might bring a camera and just, I don't know, just see what happens. See if I catch anything worth talking about. Maybe I'll just try and go out and do more things. Just because I should do that in general and just bring a camera with me. And if something happens worth sharing, I can share it. Brutal Zoo. Yeah, what, well, I get to use uh, Welcome to the Zoo in a video, which would, which is always welcome. Ooh, the Fort Worth Botanical Gardens. You know, my dad uh, worked on those at some point. I don't remember when, um, but I'm pretty sure my dad worked on the, bo the Botanical Gardens way back when. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, we got all the cards from this machine, so I'm gonna bail on Dunko. I do not like JRPGs, no. I can watch, but there's just too much menu management for me. Oh, hell yeah. How do we still have $11? Zenga poker's not bad. If you're doing free play stuff, um, yeah, that's not too bad. Persona 5 is fast? Oh, you mean in the menu stuff. Yes. It does seem more accessible than other JRPGs. But I still, it's still too much for me. Okay, I have 96, 96. Let's spin some big bass wheels. Thanks, pseudo swoo do. I'm not a Kingdom Hearts. I'm not a Kingdom Hearts person. I don't know between the lions, I don't think. Oops! <laughs> Don't listen to this guy. Hold on. Don't listen to him. Okay, I'm back. Sorry, I accidentally switched scenes. <laughs> Gillian, thank you for the two months. Arthrin, thank you for the five months. Joss Panther, thank you for the four months. Hi, Ian. My wife and I watch slash rewatch all your videos and have worked chorp into our regular vocabulary. Been with you since Simtown slash Sonic Shuffle, and I'm glad to see you're still going strong. Thanks so much, Joss Panther. Did I mention that I bought, um, that I bought Sonic Shuffle? I got Sonic Shuffle and I got Sonic Adventure 2. Uh, recently, Sega Bass Pro Fishing came in. I'm excited about that. Sam Jam Slam Ham, thank you for the $3. Hey, Ian and chat. Currently at my university library, trying to write an essay about the fantasy film genre. Looking forward to watching the new video as a reward when I'm done. Good luck. I remember writing... Uh, papers on films. Those were the days. Mm, what a hamburger. I did do a video on Sonic Shuffle way, way back when. Way back when. 
I do like dead malls. I like dead malls, but I feel like... I feel like if I were to do a dead mall video, it would be too similar in style to Dan Bell, um, who I really enjoy watching. I just don't think... Like, I just picture the video in my head, and it's almost the exact same thing. And I just don't think that uh, that I need to do that. I think he's got it. He's got it down. Glad you could make it, Hollytron. Oh yeah, there's like Dead Mall. There's Dead Mall videos everywhere. I highly recommend uh, Dan Bell. Dan Bell's, but he's also got like gross hotel. He calls it, a, it's another dirty room. He goes to like really shitty hotels. Ooh. Okay. Okay. That's kind of lame that the jackpot is a hundred. That's not, I can do better. You guys can't have any of my tickets. Back off. Back off. Going back to super drop. Theme parks would be... I thought about doing a theme park too because I really want to go to... Um, I really want to go to Six Flags soon. It could be fun to review some uh, roller coasters because I do quite enjoy roller coasters. Oh my god, did I leave my tickets? I keep forgetting I'm supposed to pick them up. Well, I'll go get them after I'm done. Sorry. <laughs> I keep forgetting that it's a new feature, okay? Ooh! I thought that was going in the jackpot. Review the Titan? Hell yeah, I will. It, it, that's gonna, the Titan's gonna win. If I do a... Did I get the jackpot? Oh. If I do a Six Flags video, the Titan is going to win. It's just what's going to happen. The question will be what comes second. Mr. Freeze is probably gonna come second. So third third place would be a would be up for debate. Cause I think it's gonna go Titan, Mr. Freeze, and then other things. Oh wait, no, I gotta go get my other tickets. Let's not forget these. Okay, they were good. They knew better than to steal from me. Mm, delicious. The Titan is a is a roller coaster. It's at Six Flags Over Texas. It's huge. It's orange. It's super fast, uh, and it is so far my favorite uh, roller coaster that I've been on. I, in life, I'm not a huge thrill seeker. But I will go on fast roller coasters uh, gladly. I will not go on pop-up roller, like pop-up rides, like carnival rides that aren't there all the time. I I won't go on. But man, I love screaming. On maybe I'll maybe I'll set up some some type of recording if I go to Six Flags and I can record my uh, reactions somehow. There has to be a way to do that. Give me that. There again. Oh. I do not like the Ferris wheel that rocks you either. How do I feel about the roller coasters where legs dangle in the air? See, that's the thing. I actually haven't, even though I've been to over, like, Six Flags Over Texas, I actually have not been on the Batman yet. So maybe that could challenge Mr. Freeze, uh, but Batman is one of those... Oh, give me the... Is one of the rides where your legs dangle. So I actually haven't done that yet. I will be extra afraid of those because I'm tall and I'm convinced that I live in a world for short people. And my height might not have been accounted for, and I might lose my legs. But I'm sure I'll be fine. Oh my god, at the at the barcade, we came across a um, an arcade cabinet of Cuphead. 
So someone, I don't know if they actually made it, but they, there's an arcade cabinet of Cuphead with like a widescreen monitor in there. Really cool. Uh, we'd never played the game before, so we were interested in playing. Unfortunately, I literally could not see this. Like I was standing up at the machine and the screen was so low that I could only see about this much. And so I was like bending down to try and like, I was like sticking my legs out to try and like get down so I could see there and just, oh my God, it killed my back and my neck. I couldn't see it at all. 511, that's the exact mindset you have when you go on Space Mountain. Oh yeah, I'm, I'm like six, six one, six two. I'm, I'm around the six one two ish area. I remember Space Mountain being really lame. I, I know that you could touch the ceiling. That was kind of interesting. You can kind of tell if you watch that arcade video again, watch me standing next to some of the machines, like the one where I'm waggling the stick that's it's not moving the thing. You can tell I'm like reaching all the way down. I talk about it on Speed of Light where I'm just trying to get down to the regular buttons. I kind of don't like it. I used to think that um, I liked being tall and I wanted to be a little bit taller, but I kind of, I kind of not into it as much as I used to be. I mean, I can reach things. That's nice. Reaching things is cool. I feel like my tallness makes me look... It accentuates my awkward behaviors. Because I'm always, like, leaning down. <laughs> or, like, hunched up like this. So just trying putt-putt? Oh my god, I love I love putt-putt. I love golf. I haven't been golfing in a while, uh, but I just recently got my clubs back. Six three, you feel my pain. <laughs> Five one, and always wish I was taller. Yeah, I, I guess everyone's got everyone's got an opinion on their uh, their height and you know other other things. It's easy to wish you had it a little bit different. But hey, at least. I can I can reach things for those in need. That is uh that's helpful. It's really nice that uh clothes don't fit usually. <laughs> mm -hmm. You love your height. There you go. Six, seven. Ooh. Well, then I don't have a right to complain. I'm gonna make all the money now. He's gonna make all the money now. Any good water parks there? There is. Uh, right across the highway from Six Flags over Texas is Six Flags Hurricane Harbor. Um, I don't think you would ever catch me at a water park anymore. I think... I'm just too concerned about the, the sanitization these days. Hey, oh my god, NRH2O. I went to NRH2O. Short, overweight guy. Please tell how difficult... Hey, we can... We don't have to be against each other. We can, we can bond over our inability to find fitting clothes for different reasons. Rage against the um, the hey, normies, the average heights, those dirty average height people. <laughs> um, hmm. Let's maybe. I don't want to spin these yet. Mm, what a hamburger! Not okay. <laughs> Fuck the average. <laughs> 
Why don't you get up here on my level? Up here, huh? <laughs> oh, look, there's someone outside of the arcade just like wandering around. What That's new. Hamburger. I have no idea what's considered average height. I just know that I'm above it. <laughs> oh my god, there's a lot of people. There's people just wandering. That's kind of cool. This one's a little bit stuck, but uh mm, what a hamburger. I'm above the law. I don't want that trash. Walking around the aquarium, I kept having to like duck over stuff. <laughs> and I kept complaining about it. I brought up I brought up Lunatics last time I streamed and literally no one reacted to it, but there's a character in that show who's got really giant, tall and fat mm, legs. And every time she goes through a doorway, she goes like this. And that's who I that's how I felt like at the aquarium. I kept oh, going under. Okay, I'm gonna go... I don't know, what's... what's new? Six two. I'm not like, you know... I don't think I'm shockingly tall. Mm, what a hamburger. What else is... how do I get the map open? Do I have to get out? I'll just park this in the middle of the road. It should be fine. Mm, what a hamburger. Okay, papers, Jerry's, berries, beach. Beach. Okay, well that's not where I am. Let's go to beach. I don't mm, I don't know what, what beach hamburger. is. Oh wait, I am at the beach. I guess I clicked beach and it teleported me here. Islandville Public Beach. No lifeguard on duty. Enter your own risk. No glass bottles. No dog off leash. No being stupid. I have been in the state fair, though it's been it's been a long while since I've been in the state fair. Big Thunder, 3.5 inch mortars. Hey everybody, come on over here to Frankie's Fireworks, home of freedom and... Hey little buddy, you gonna blow some stuff up? <laughs> I don't know if you heard him, but he said, Hey little buddy, are you gonna blow some stuff up? Hell yeah. Oh wait, coins? Wait. Oh, okay, dollars, dollars, dollars. I was like, wait, coins, dollars. I need dollars. Um, oh, you can get Roman candles. Okay, we need to make some dollars. Oh my god. With your kid in the car? Blowing it right in his face. <laughs> oh, that's good. That's good. Um, I'm going to teleport back to where we were just because I didn't mean to teleport here. Oh wait, can I just teleport to the golf cart? I can. That is handy. I do have a gun. It's true. Cata Catrex, thank you for the five months. Hey Moose, happy to catch a stream. Keep it up. Dark Darcy Ska. Darcy Ska. Thank you for the 100 bits. Mark the 6th. Thank you for subscribing. Fraggled Rock. Thank you for the 15 months. Psy2Bit. Thank you for the prime sub. That what thing. Thank you for the 11 months. Apparently it's my sub anniversary. I guess that means it's been a whole year. That's pretty wild. Thanks for all the chill vibes and fun times I've had in here. And I hope to be here for a long time to come. I hope so, too. I do not have Star's Playoff Fever. Um, 
I unfortunately do not care. I, I would watch them if I was in. I would root for them if I was in the stadium. But I'm not, like, into hockey. So I, I don't really pay that much attention. You know. I do not hunt. Um, I think shooting guns can be fun. I like to... Last time I think I went shooting, I went and shot skeet with, like, shotguns or something. But that was, like, forever ago. I would go to, like, a gun range or something, but I, I don't think I would hunt unless, uh, like, we're talking, like, post-apocalypse kind of thing. Apocalypse kind of thing. I need to go this way. Oh. Excuse me. Never shot a gun, never held a gun. Yeah. Um, I feel like you probably have a higher chance of doing that if you were raised in Texas. <laughs> okay. Out of gas, head on over to Jerry's Gas and Go. Where's our inventory? Four more. There we go. Whoops. Oh man, I played one of those, uh, the arcade gun ranges where you had, it's like the light gun. That would be fun. I haven't played one of those in forever. I don't know how long I'm planning on streaming. I actually have something to do after this. I'm gonna go see uh, see my sister. It's been a little while, but um, I'm I'm still I'm still going. I want to play more. I'm not gonna lie. I want to play more uh, Dunko a lot. Uh, how do I zoom? Okay, so the map is zoomed out. The map is zoomed out because I zoomed out, so I need to get out of the car, open my watch, open the map, zoom back in. And then get back in the car. Okay, I think that worked. How old am I in the game? I don't know, 40, I'm not sure. It seems like there have been updates to the game. There's a fireworks stand, um, which we can't afford currently. There's been a li some little changes. We've got pedestrians walking about now, so it's definitely been updated. The, uh, the carnival is not here yet, I don't think. FMV game I've never played but wanted to. Uh, Ripper. I've only been wanting to play Ripper for like five years now. <laughs> Is this the max bit rate I can stream at? No. I could stream a little higher bit rate. Um, I think the stream looks better in the 720 personally. But I'm, I'm open to, to hearing feedback. I feel like I notice less pixelization with the 72060 versus the one uh, 108030. Oh my god, come on. Yeah, we've we've wanted to play Ripper for so long, but every time every time I get geared up to do it, my computer breaks or something happens. So hopefully this year with the LGR computer Surely this year is the year. Get in there. Come on. Don't look at me. Someone just drove by trying to watching me try to get this paper in the box. Oh, it's almost in. Oh my god. Oh yeah, we could check the UFO.
This is so difficult. How do... How do... Newspaper delivery people do it? Are we paying our newspaper delivery force enough? For their struggles? There we go. There we go. Okay, I don't think there's any more this way. We'll just go this way anyway. Just throw it on the front porch. I know. I'm, I was just joking. I love LGR and his videos. Oh my god, the golf cart's actually out of fuel? Oh my god, the golf cart takes fuel now, guys. Well, I didn't know that. I thought this was birthday mode. Where am I? I think someone just ran over my golf cart. Oh my god, I'm so far away. I'm just gonna teleport. I'm just gonna teleport. Oh my god, is this a giant power strip? Can I charge my golf cart here? Do I buy gas? Oh my god! Can you sell me gas? Hmm. So, it kind of feels like... It kind of feels like if I run out of fuel, I'm just screwed. Because I don't think... I don't think I can... Oh, wait. Oh, you get cans of gas. Race fuel. We're gonna we're gonna stick with basic gas. Okay. Well, now I got gas. I'm teleporting back. I'm just gonna teleport because I'm a dirty cheater. Okay. Yes, I'm assuming the race fuel makes the cart go faster, but, uh... Where is my... <laughs> I cannot tell how much fuel I have. Is it in the bottom left? Because if it's in the bottom left, I can only kind of see it. Is it that 14, 13 that's counting down? Surely that's it. I'm not sure what the giant power outlet was for. I wonder if the citizens recharge there. Okay, thank you. It is the third one, okay. It would be interesting if one of them was electric. Like I said, I kind of thought this one was electric oh, just by the sound. Wow. Fuck. Mm, what a hamburger. I'm feeling nauseous. What's the deal? What's the deal? It's Christmas time, Demon Scoop 96. Thanks for the two months. Uh, hey, Ian, love your video. It made me want to go to my local Dave and Buster's and play some crane game. 
even though I won't win. Love your channel. You might win. You probably won't win, but you might win. Depends on how much you're willing to pay, probably. <laughs> uh, Wisteria Scott. Thank you for the $15. Thank you, thank you very much. Ah, the coin game. At least I have something fun to watch while I cram for finals. Good luck with those finals. Um, just a, you know, just a hint. The, the fifth answer on your second final is B. So there's a, there's a freebie. <laughs> a freebie. It's a good joke, Ian. Way to go. Nice job. I am Cracker Jack. Thank you for the $5 and change. Hey, Ian. Enjoyed the new vid today. I was wondering if you made the background music for the Yellow Submarine section. It was some solid stuff. I did not. Oh, whoa. <laughs> oh, my God. Everybody watch the fuck out. <laughs> You're not a real gamer unless you drive like this. I'm gonna hit this kid on his his uh, hoverboard. <laughs> That's right. It's a it's a driving strategy. Um, the pros use it. Okay, I actually do have to get out, unfortunately, but. Uh, What a hamburger. That was enjoyable. That was an enjoyable moment. Oh. Come on. Come on. Why would Santa knock on your door? There. Oh, ho, ho. sorry. It was just, it fell out. You don't have a fireplace. He still wouldn't knock on your door. He would just break the fuck in. He's Santa. He's not going to ask for permission. You're getting those presents, whether you like it or not. <laughs> oh, there's a mailbox there. I, I do watch Hallmark Christmas movies, actually. I feel like Ian gets coal. It's probably true. If I, if I don't get coal, it's what I deserve. Ugh. This song definitely has lyrics that are not being played. I can just tell. Oh my god. It's official. I could not handle the stresses of uh, having a paper delivery route. It's pretty obvious to me right now. Yeah, this is from uh, Epidemic Sound. All my, all my stock music is from the same place. I'm going to get some extra gas. Because we're already down to six. Oh look, I was totally right. They are recharging. Is that the, Does that mean that's their power level? I noticed they had like different colored dots on them now. That might be their char. Yeah, their little charge level. That's kind of funny. And back to the arcade now. Sorry you had a hard morning, Mayfly. Hope you can relax a bit. Oh right, I was gonna get... Uh... What happens if one doesn't make it? Um, I think you know what happens. 
I do want to try the race fuel, um, mm, what a hamburger. but I really want to save money for Dunko. I don't know that I have a favorite Hallmark Christmas movie. N not one that has really stood out, I don't think. Oh, there was a... Oh, wait, no. I already did that one. I did that one. Someone's emerging from, from my window. Did you see anything? Haven't eaten. <laughs> Listen, Dunko is life. You don't need food. You just need Dunko. Guys, don't watch this. Please don't watch me deliver this paper. Hello. Hi. Okay, okay. We just Hi. Sorry, I'm talking to my cat. I shouldn't do that on stream because it's hard to know who I'm talking to. I know, it's just they don't understand. You're sitting off camera so they can't really see. I don't know if they can hear you either. Oh! Heard a faint meow. Yeah, she was, uh, she was talking. Oh, there it is! No, 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 no. There. Oh. Listen, moving the cart is an extra step. I'm a pro by now. I don't, I don't need... I've got Martin Carlberg. Kralberg? What's his last name? Martin Carlberg. To, to croon to me as I... Fucking deliver this newspaper for Christmas. Fuck. Front page news is an ad for a gas station. It's very important that this gets delivered. Oh, come on. Oh, come on. There it is. There it is. I kind of... I really do love delivering the papers. I will be a little upset. I mean, not upset. I will be a little uh, bummed. Oh, look, there's another charging place. What's going on back here? Uh, if they make the delivering easier, that'll be a bit of a bummer. Get money. Oh, I love, like, their mohawks and stuff. What are you doing? What are you doing back here? Do I want to know what you're doing back here? Oh, you're just stuck. <laughs> you're just stuck. Mm. Ooh, it would be kind of funny if you could steal cars. I should probably, uh... Madam Trash Heap, thank you for the 16 months. Love the new video. Always fun to see Ian in the wild. Why win? thank you for the 23 months. Zzux, thank you for the 19 months. Some similarities in names there. Why win and Zzux. Loved your video today. I actually have one of the plushes that was in the Giga Crane that I won at my own Boardwalk Arcade. Thanks for consistently making that good content. Shut up, Sprinkles. Thank you for the five months. Wow. I'm actually up before 1 p.m. Pacific on a Sunday. Was talking about your videos yesterday and realized Thursday was the anniversary of my favorite Brutal Foods episode, Ramen Noodle Tacos. Good times with the ramen noodle tacos. I wonder when I want to do my next food video. I kind of, I kind of want to take a little break if I'm being honest, but I don't know how long, like realistically, I'm going to be able to keep myself from making my most successful series, you know? It's hard to completely be like, let's take a break. Bring back Ian points. 
Oh, that wasn't a... It's over here. Arcade food review. That would be interesting, honestly. The the thing is, when we were there, the arcade was so low traveled that uh, the kitchen wasn't open. <laughs> I just didn't want to like see if you do Ian points for every video, then it's worn out, you know. My idea was to change the rating system every video. So it was never stale. Here we go, here we go. Give me some Dunko dollars. Hell yeah. Foreign food reviews, that's been thought, thought of. Um, Caddy and I have uh, floated the idea. I don't know if it'll ever happen, but we thought it would be interesting to do a crossover where we each send each other foods from our own country. I think that could be interesting, or foods that are, you know, exclusively found. It's like, probably like junk snack foods kind of stuff. Ooh, we haven't played Treasure in the Sand. I still have not played this one, um ever in like in uh, real life I think the difference between this machine and the real life machine that I've seen at least from watching arcade videos online is that this this thing actually touches the bottom of the come on the bottom of the table here but the real ones seem to like barely skim it. I don't think you're gonna watch me do mukbang. Am I doing a history kitchen anytime soon? Um, I, I, I can't speak to what I'm doing soon. I don't know what I'm doing soon. I don't plan, I don't plan. But next time I do a History Kitchen, it probably won't be branded as such. I thought the extra branding was too much. It'll just be like a retro recipe review. That's that's what History Kitchen was. I don't need, like, Brutal Foods as a sub subsection of videos and then another subsection beneath that. I, I don't need that. That's too much. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Give me that fitty. Give me that fitty. No. No. Yeah, I just don't. It's like too much. It's too much. And I also just, the more you like structure things like that, the more it feels like a format that you have to play by the rules with. Which is maybe advice to future YouTubers that you might not think about. But the more you make like a strict format like that, the more it feels like you gotta stick in that format. Which works for some people, but I get bored. I get bored. I need the change. That's possibly partly why you see me saying I'm moving every year, is because I need the change. It's like my hair too, my hair's always changing. I'm actually kind of into my hair right now. I've started to use like deep conditioner on it to repair it because it was so frizzy at the end and it's like behaving. And I'm into that. What's up with my moving a lot? It's just life. It's just where life has taken me. There's a different story for each move. It's 
Sometimes it feels like a year is a long time to be in one place, which is a really sc scary thing to think about. Well, I consider my hair can still like constantly changing since I'm growing it out, you know? Oops, I got the controls wrong on this. I do, I do rent. I do currently rent. That looked pretty good. No. I kind of don't, I don't like the process of, oh no, I'm out. I'm going to have to play, well, I guess we could, we could pawn some uh, prizes, I suppose. My new kitty is back in the window. She's, uh, you know, protecting me from creatures. We're not going to do Money Machine just yet. I still prefer not doing it, but I can't lie. I really, as much as the extra stuff is fun, I really just want to play Dunko. But let's go pawn these prizes and see what happens. I do have a garage to stow stuff in. Moved eight, nine times in the last eight years. That's kind of... I stayed... I stayed downtown Seattle. Or I guess not downtown Seattle. I stayed in Capitol Hill for, for long. That's the longest stay in a place for me so far. It was a little over a year. I'm still holding tickets. I should probably count those. Hold on. What state do I see myself ending up for in for retirement? I don't know. If there's one thing I have learned, like in my post-college experience, is that nothing is forever. Everything changes. So just kind of go with it as best as you can. I'm not always great at going with it. Hello? But I cannot, I can't think that far ahead. Who knows, who knows what's going to be going on when it's retirement time. If this is my job, there may not be a retirement time. I may just do this forever. If this is literally, if I just make videos and stream and stuff for my life, I don't want to stop. I hope you guys watch me while I'm a grandpa. You better. If you bail on me when I get old, we'll have problems. Well, I, I'll, I'll have problems because I'll be old. <laughs> Hey, stop messing with my cables. She's eyeing my chapstick again. Yeah, 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 yeah. Brittle foods. Oh my god. Yeah, I'll hit 60 or something. What age? What age do I change it to brittle moose? I, I'll be honest. I feel like brittle moose already. Brittle foods. I think 60 is a good... Not. Th I hope I won't be too brittle at 60, but in the in like the age of the internet, um, that feels like quite an age. Okay. And not, not even really just the age of the internet, the age of, like, YouTubers. Like, there's all these young, whoops, all these young YouTubers. It feels like I'm a grandpa. Well, I guess it doesn't feel like too, because there's still older channels that I'm, I'm watching, which is nice. But I definitely don't feel young. I'm not necessarily, I'm not referring to my age i'm referring to like my time on the platform right i feel like your time on the platform is maybe almost has more impact than actual age like i wonder how many people just won't 
Hello. Just won't watch my stuff just because they made an opinion about me five years ago. Hello. Hi. Don't get any strange ideas, okay? It's true, everything has changed. A lot change. A lot changes. She's pulling up my chair, but I kind of let her do it. Here we go. This way, right? Off she goes. I'll try and get an MJ emote. Um, oh my god, I'm out of gas. I'm out of gas! Watch out, I'm out of gas! <laughs> I'm still gonna be making stuff. I really don't see... I don't see a timeline in, in which I'm not making stuff in some form or fashion. I literally don't know what to do with myself if I'm not making something. And yes, I count Minecraft as making things because I make things in that game. That's why it's hard to like separate work time and fun time because I, they're very close. It's a very thin line. Okay, let me read a couple things real quick. Valiant Moose. Mouse, Valiant Mouse. Brain fart, yeah I know, it's like spelled right there. Thank you for the 10 months. I excellent, thank you for the 19 months. Uh, loved your new video, Ian. Can't wait to see more videos about things that you enjoy doing. Thank you so much. Zippy Eagleheart, thank you for these $6 and change. Hey, Moose, I'll catch up with this on the VOD. Hope you are doing well, and your content is just simply the best. Also, would you let my girlfriend know that I am still in the chippy and waiting? Okay, what is a chippy? Thank you very much, Zippy. Chippy sounds like English slang to me. What is a, what's a chippy? Is that a snack stand? Fish and chips shop, okay. A chippy is a fish and chips shop. I got close, snack stand is pretty close. I mean, I guess with chips, it's food based. I'm gonna read. I'm gonna read through all my uh, donations real quick because I don't like to keep those waiting as long as I have. RJ555, thank you for the five dollars. Hi Ian, been a longtime fan of your YouTube channel. Consistently fantastic content. Glad I could catch. Glad I could finally catch a stream. Keep up the great work from your number one UK fan, Brutal Yes. Thanks so much, RJ555, for the five freaking dollars plant posing as human thanks so much for the twenty dollars i'm so sorry for keeping all you guys waiting i should not have but that's what i did ian you really helped me through the days with my abusive ex now i can use my money on what i want like to say thank you you reminded me uh they're good cool and real people out there and provided an, in an entertaining escape I'm happier now, away from him. Thank you so much, plant posing as human. Um, happy to hear you're out of that situation. Um, and I am happy to have provided some small comfort uh, to you. Uh, but really, mostly just happy you're out of that situation. Uh, thank you so much. What we got here? What we got here? We got no more dang memes... Thank you for the 100 bits. Uh, I'm with you on that one. Milk Destroyer, thank you for the $2. The sun is gone. You are the last remaining human on Earth. Everyone else has perished. Your uncle set up all of this stuff for you, right? Where is this man? Who is he? Is he really our uncle? Maybe our uncle is also a robot. Right? Thanks, everybody. I'm still making my way through uh, subscriptions, just so you know. I have not forgotten about you. 
Next time I eat fish and chips, I'm definitely calling the restaurant a chippy. While we were on our trip, my boyfriend accidentally hey, called a, a chicken sandwich a chicky. And I, um, gave him a hard time about that one. <laughs> A chippy isn't a restaurant? What is it then? I thought it was. I just got finished being told that it was a chip and chip fish and chips restaurant. It's a takeaway. Okay. I guess in my view that is still a restaurant um i think that anywhere you you that has like a kitchen is like a restaurant i think we maybe it's like a a cultural divide i think we usually specify what kind of restaurant like it's a sit down restaurant or it's like a fast food restaurant I guess I don't know that I would consider a food truck a restaurant. Maybe it has to be in a building. A building that has a kitchen. A nice candlelit dinner at the Chippy. <laughs> Is hot dog a sandwich? You know, I used to say no, but after watching all these old hot dog advertisements where they call it a sandwich... I, I kind of consider it a sandwich now. A burger is more of a sandwich than a hot dog is, so I guess so. Is it in the restaurant section of the yellow pages? Do the youths know what the yellow pages are? Do they still send out yellow pages? I guess I did get a yellow page is sent to me here. A hot dog is a taco. <laughs> and a taco is a crunchy sandwich. I think at the end of the day, we can all agree that everything is a restaurant. Everything. Literally everything is a restaurant. Yum, yum. Come on. Give me that ink. I need the ink. Give me that. Mm. There we go. Yes, RuneScape is a restaurant, yes. How am I still at 45? I need to be spinning this wheel more. I, I, had, a, I had a hot streak when we first started. I should have stayed on the Dunko machine. Ooh, they fixed it to where, um, he fixed these machines. These all used to be, like, synced up. Like, if you played one, you kind of played them all, but he fixed them. A library, yes. A library is a restaurant, um, for your mind. For your brain. I do kind of wish this, uh, I wish this was also like a pizza place. I wish there was like a pizza buffet, like so it went full-blown Chuck E. Cheese's. You guys have a really hard time understanding the concept of everything is a restaurant. Everything. Have I tried new retro arcade? I haven't. Is that the VR one? Look at this card. What does it say? Lava... Lava something? I wish I could get the actual cards. 
I have not played that one, but I know of it. A pro, a pro would have gotten those. Bistin, thank you for the two months. My favorite chill person to make studying for an exam not so crappy. My fiance who runs the Spriders resource slash VG resource with Daz says hello. Hello. Hello, Bistin's fiance. I haven't chatted with Daz in quite a while. RJ555, thank you for subscribing. Uh, Sadistic Secretary, thank you for the 16 months. What's my Sonic OC? Uh, watch the Sonic Forces. And you can meet Barf, my, uh, my number one Sonic OC. There we go. I want that bonus. I want that bonus. I remember pagers. I wanted a pager so bad. My dad had a cool... Shouldn't I talk about this in a video at some point? I think I talked about it in the Killjoy video or something. My dad had like a flip-up pager with a keyboard, a Motorola one. Oh my god, I was so jealous. It had a keyboard, which was really what I was... I just wanted anything that had a keyboard. I wanted any tech anything. Any small tech... Um, not, not much has changed. Give me that D. There it is. We, we talked a bit about the, uh, the Sonic trailer last time I streamed the Minecraft stream. Very interesting that they're, uh, changing the design. Um... I remember talking about how I wasn't sure who the target audience was, if they were just trying to make it bad or something for shock value. Um, or for reaction, YouTube reaction value. But the fact that they're changing it just raises even more questions. I feel like a documentary about the production is now, um, you know, not necessary, but... I would be interested. Theories going around that it was a marketing ploy. Oh yeah, I mean you can come up with any theory you want. I'll I'll listen to those theories when there's some evidence. You can dream up any any scenario for why they did it. Yeah, what if they change it and it's worse? Surely not. Um, I will say I, I'm kind of glad glad that they're fixing it just because I just feel like you can't have a Sonic movie where it's not Sonic. Like, it should be it should be Sonic. Oh, come on. Will the design be better enough to save the movie? Yeah, like... What if they spend all this money to change it and it still just completely tanks? Yeah, not fun for the animators either. Not really a great situation all around, but I do hope it results in a, in a better looking finished product. I wouldn't be surprised if some of the animators actually want to change the design. Maybe not necessarily under the the pressure of, of a time crunch. But I would assume if you're like an artist working on the movie, you probably wanted to change the design from the very beginning. You know? But it just makes me... And it, circling back to a point when I started this, when I was talking about how I don't know who the target audience is... I'm more confused now that they're changing it. Because now it seems like they're trying to make something that people will actually like. Because they are listening to feedback. 
supposedly. So now I, I really don't know what to think. Come on. There it is. There it is. You know what I will say? Those uh, little Sonic animations for the new racing game that they did, they did that two-part animation, kind of like they did with Sonic Mania. Those have actually made me excited for the racing game, which I had kind of decided that I was not excited for. Uh, because of the team racing aspect, the whole thing about this new Sonic racing game is that you race in teams. Uh, I guess it's kind of like Sonic Heroes, where each... You know, it's like the Sonic team and the Chaotix team and the villain team or whatever. And I don't like that. I mean, team teamwork is great in theory, but I, I like to fly solo usually. But seeing the animations of all the teams racing together and getting into shenanigans made me actually be like, okay, okay, I, I want some of that. Wouldn't be surprised if it was a marketing stunt. Yeah, it's it's a toss. At this point, I don't know what to think. At this point, I don't know what to think, and I'm not going to latch on to some theory unless there's uh, evidence. It's just guessing. In terms of team-based racing games, you know, Mario Kart Double Dash was pretty awesome. Oh my god, I got a copy of uh, Super Mario Sunshine. Which, surprising how much that game is selling for nowadays, but it was a uh, complete in-box. And it had this standalone card for or advertising Animal Crossing, the original one. And it may be better than the entire game itself. Just to have one of those old cards is so cool. There we go, there we go. Come on, Dunko, I still have not hit that bonus. I could go play, I mean, do you want me to play the other coin pusher? I guess we can go try the other one for a little bit. I actually have not played Sunshine. Um, I'm going to watch my boyfriend play because he, he really wanted to play it. And I'll watch. Hell yeah. I thought everyone loved Sunshine. I thought that was, uh, that was a favorite among people. I just never played it. Okay, let's go play, uh... Cuckoo Coins? Cuckoo Coins? Cuckoo Coins. Cuckoo? Did they change this? Does this look completely different? I mean, you guys always say cuckoo, but that's not how it's spelled at all. I don't know how you get cuckoo from that. I disagree with English in this instance. I guess I disagree with English in many instances. It's just so hard for me to look at that and say cuckoo. I'll do my best to do it in the future, but... It just doesn't... It just doesn't read that way to me at all. Dude! Oh my god, there's lighters and shit in here. I can win a fidget spinner? Is this one more narrow than Dunko? Oh, I may be crazy. I may be overthinking it. Thanks to the Murph. Cuckoo. 
Let's see here. I need to read some things. Nova Knight 21, thank you for these six months. Crystal the Wolf, thank you for the six months. Mac Man X, thanks so much for the five months. Thanks, Moose. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. Yajui11, thank you for the prime sub. Radical Mountains, thanks so much for the 15 months. Just came back to re up my prime sub, and to my surprise, I caught you live. Hope your day is well, Ian. It's going all right. Oh, I should check my. Hold on. I'm going to check my video upload real quick. Just because I have to. Uh. It's actually doing better than I expected it to. YouTube gives you really cool analytics information now. It's actually doing really good. Well, let's hope it keeps up. If it keeps it up, I'll do I'll make another one. Well, I'll probably make another one anyway, honestly. There we go. Ooh. It'd be fun to get um, maybe a friend involved in an uh, arcade video. Like if we were both going around the arcade trying to compete in a, a ticket contest, that I feel like that could be fun. Winner gets to spend both tickets, like winner combines the tickets. Okay. I'm gonna have to shut these people up. <laughs> I'm tired of these people singing at me. Come on, give me the bonus. Give me the bonus. No. Martin Kahlberg featuring Maja Norming. Ian does have a gambling addiction. Well, he doesn't have an addiction. He has a... He has a penchant for gambling. Is that what the phrase is? He is inclined to gamble. You could argue that gambling is partly my job, so... Maybe we shouldn't criticize it so much. I really should add like little warnings in front of the addicting things I do. See, that's another thing. I think another thing about if I specified how much, I think I get 250 for that fidget spinner. Um, I totally don't remember. I got distracted by the fidget spinner. I have no idea what I was talking about. What was I talking about? I stopped mid-sentence and then lost, uh, lost the thread. Hmm. Oh, right, right. Okay, I was gonna say that I should add a warning in front of these videos that you know, gambling is addicting, but that's what I think if I if I do another video and I specify how much money went in to, for instance, how much money went in before I got a prize or something, I think I think that's an interesting scope that is left out of the arcade videos that I watch. I want that bonus. How much for the pink? Well, like I said, the pink plushie, we only played 
We only played Carnival Crane four times. The first time I missed, the second time I won, the third time was when the pink thing got won, and then the fourth was a miss, and then we moved on. So we had really good success with that machine. Your video made you want to play Crane Games. See, that's the thing. I started watching all these arcade videos and I was like, I gotta go, I gotta go do it. I did not trash the plushies. I'm still trying to figure out what I want to do with them. Hello. Um, if I really need to get rid of them, like if I just decide I can't think of anything fun to do with them, I'll just donate them somewhere. But I think there could be, there might be Any other things that I could do with them. We'll just see. Tried Tereba. I just won something again on Tereba uh, the other day. Just yesterday, I think, I won on my, uh, my free play for the day. I won a uh, Kirby watch. Ooh. Tereba is very addicting. I would say be very careful if you want to get into Tereba. Tereba is an app, and you you basically basically have a warehouse of all these uh, claw UFO claw machines, and you can control them with your phone. And then if you win something, they'll mail it to you. Um. But it is very, very easy to fall into the, it's so close to win, I just, I should just buy a little bit more. Cause you buy like virtual credits to play these machines. Um, so while it does, I would say that it, it's maybe more fair than it seems. Because at first I was like, this is a scam, but there's actual like strategy to those machines. It's still deceptive. It's still deceptively, like... It's easy to fall into, like, uh, giving them more money. But I've won... I don't know, like, five or six things. The the video I used in my, in my arcade video of the Morgana figure, that was actually me playing. I actually won that one. That one hasn't come in the mail yet, but... Oh. Should do a video on the Tacoma Pinball Convention. Oh yeah, I haven't been to that. I know that he and PBG have been at least once. I think I may go back to Dunko. I mean, this stuff has so much extra shit on it though. Like I should win that $5. What's the best game on Tereba? I really only like playing the ones where they're on the posts and you knock it down. Um, the ones where it drops the ping pong balls are interesting, but I feel like, oh, I just decided to play more. I guess I do want that $5. But I don't really know any strategy for any other machine. Here we go. Push off that five. Push that. Nope. There are different games on it, not only claw. Well, they're all they're all claw games, but the claws are sometimes used differently. So there's the ones where you knock prizes off these little posts. I should just do a video on Tereba, honestly. Um, there's ones where you try and pull it off of a shelf. There's ones where the claw picks up these ping pong balls and then drops them into this series of cups. And if you land in a specific cup, you get a prize. There's ones where you pick up a ball and then drop it on this ramp and it rolls down. So they have a lot of different uh, stuff, but I only really play the one type because it's the only type I know how to win. Would I play an NES pachinko game? Yeah, that sounds fun. 
I've never I don't know about Game Center CX. Oh, there we go. Got that five. Got that five. We have a lot of money. Are these coins adding to our money money? Because we've got 52 bucks. Maybe I will. I was going to do... The video was originally going to be just about claw machines, and I was going to talk about Tereba at the end. But we ended up filling, filming other arcade games. And I wanted to include those, so I decided to save Tereba for if I want to do... Uh, another... Video. Game Center CX is a really good show. Tell me about it. What is it? Is it, is it, do they just do arcade stuff? Okay. Yeah, see, I feel like I should stay over here because this one has more stuff. Like, I should play this one. I hope you guys don't mind all these coin pushers, but uh, that's what I'm playing right now. Come on. Oh yeah, next stream, by the way, we'll go back to Sonic Adventure. Honestly, I'm mainly... Mainly not doing Sonic Adventure today because it, it only felt appropriate to be playing coin game after I upload an arcade video. And I just got back from my trip and I just kind of wanted to take it easy. On the show, the host, uh, Arino, Arino, plays a game that's challenging and there are segments in between such as arcade trips. Huh. I'll check it out. Is that a YouTube thing? Ooh. You know, I don't think I've actually spun a fidget spinner. I did get one of those fidget cubes when the trend was, uh, was peaking. And I actually did like it, but I broke it. <laughs> I broke it from using it too much. It's a Japanese TV show. Interesting. I will I will look into it. Oh my god, the sparkler people are watching me. Can you can I get some space? Thank you. Someone tweeted to me that apparently in in the Yakuza game you can do the UFO claw machines, which I didn't know before. Um, definitely makes those games more tempting. Give me that five. Give me that five. I really want to play Shenmo again. I think I'm going to play Shinmu off stream. I think I'm going to play uh, the HD one. At least the first one again before 3 comes out. I probably won't play both. I'll probably just play the first one again before 3 comes out. Yakuza 0 best claw machine. I had no idea that they had those, but I mean, again, that sounds right up my alley. Um, it's not that I don't want to stream it. It's that I'll probably just be playing it on the couch. Um, I got other things I want to stream. It's too soon to go back to Shinmu. Like, for the stream. We got other stuff we got to do. We got to solve some more Nance mysteries. Oh. Stream just the portion of Lucky Hit. I mean, that's going to be like the entire game. Well, that's two, but. I'm definitely getting Shinmu 3. I, I backed Shinmu 3, so, so I've already bought it. 
I've already bought it. Firmament got funded. The uh, the new VR game from Cyan, it ended up getting funded. It looked like it uh, was gonna, it, it did kind of cut it close, honestly, compared to their last Kickstarters. Um, but I'm, I'm really excited that they got funded. Oof. That would be an interesting one to try and stream since it's VR. Okay. I think after this I am going to be able to Dunko. I, I can I can win more things here, but I forgot about the leaderboard. And I think I'm higher up on the leaderboard on Dunko. And I'd rather work that one. Yeah, you know, next time we do Nancy Drew, I do think I want to do it. Especially since you bought merchandise. I think I want to try and do another all-day stream or or a series of streams like day after day to, to finish a game because I do think it's uh, I don't know it's a little more special when we get through Nance all at once or w without the giant gaps in between. Oof. I do still think I might want to play the next one on the old computer instead of em oh, not emulating it but running it on this one. I think I need an intervention for my fake I get an intervention for my fake gambling literally every time I fake gamble. Everyone's like, you got an addiction, man. Oh, I didn't even go to Dunko. God. This time for real. This time I'm not going to forget. Oh, there we go. I'm going to Dunko. I'm going to try and get through it so I don't forget. Ooh, that one was close. Day music from Ghost Dogs. Oh my god. Okay. Yeah. The music for the Ghost Dogs. I don't remember exactly how I felt about the game overall. Um, but I don't remember it being a very positive feeling. Yeah, it was. They had lighters and pocket knives and with the, uh, the coins. Oh, here, let me read. Let me read a couple things. Twitchy Wampa, thank you for the six months. Absolutely loved your trip out to the arcade. I would love to see you guys visit more cool places in Texas. Thank you for everything you do. Mm, what a Thanks so much. Like I said, I think I may bring my camera along with me to, um... To the zoo just to see I don't know if it's gonna be interesting enough for a video but I should just carry it around when on the rare occurrence that I do something because you never know chick magnet 76 thank you for subscribing autism dragon thank you for the six months bloodfin 48 thank you for the prime sub brinstar thanks for the two months Vyaz, thank you for the five months Sayoko, thank you so much for the 37 months. New video was really nice. It looked like it was fun. Thanks, Sayoko. It was. Yanni MG, thank you for the prime sub. Kaka Crazy Carry, thank you for the 14 months. Ian, you just inspired me to run and play this game today. As I was scared, you'd pass me in the Dunko leaderboard. I was 10 last time I logged in. I'm in the 30s now. Great vid today, but what? I'll look out for you. Is your username K -K Crazy Carry on there? Comrade Cooge, thank you for gifting what looks to be 10 subs to Pruly, Cryfer the Moon, Dollface 34x4, Blue Raphael, Light Avalon, aka Captain Shadow, 
Hearn Futter, Mama, M Ma no, Madam Evil 11, Pro Devin, and Dalish Pariah. Mm, Thanks so I much, remember. Comrade Cooch. You're always very generous with those, uh, with those gift subs. Net Tales, thank you for the $2. Hi, Ian. Your latest video has inspired me to try and go for a Namco Funscape Arcade. Go to a Namco Funscape Arcade. I've never heard of that. I'm looking forward to it since I believe they still use physical tickets. I do miss the physical tickets, I won't lie. It's not the same when it's on a card. You need that roll of tickets to carry around. Maska Otter, thank you for the 500 bits. Thank you, thank you. And Mort, thank you for the $5 and change. Hey Moose, your arcade video was pretty amazing, and I'd love to see more videos like that. Chilling out to your stream now with some Red Robin. Lots of love. Yum. Red Robin. Yum. <laughs> Thank you very much. Okay, I'm still getting through uh, subscriptions, just uh, just so you know. This really makes me want to play coin pushers, which I already wanted to do. What is that, six? I wish I knew what these cards did. Oh, come on. There we go. Sure, there's some arcade out there that had to deal with a rash of people counterfeiting tickets. Yeah. I mean, I'm sure there's, you know. I'm sure it was mostly so you didn't have to buy. Oh, finally. It's probably mostly so they didn't have to keep buying tickets. It's just cheaper to have it on a card, you know? Well, that wasn't the best. Come on. Give me that 250. Oh, I just get free spins for that? Oh! Hoo -hoo! Did I get my tickets for that? It didn't pop up. I better have got those tickets. Garbage. Garbage. This is making you want to play coin game? Well, I would recommend it. Now, my ticket multiplier stays, right? So if I if I hit Dunko again, do I get double? Or does it go away? I didn't even check where I was on the leaderboard. Oh, come on, Dunko. You know, these odd jobs have lasted me a while. Going out and delivering the papers, I'm kind of surprised I haven't had to go to the money machine again. No. I want that DK Donkey Kong. Just the K now. Oh! Do I dream of the coin game? No. Hopefully if I was dreaming of like an arcade, hopefully I would dream that I was... Oh no, I said no! I accidentally said no! I hope my ticket multiplier doesn't go away. Um, I hope if I dream about... What is this ripoff? Caravan Palace I'm listening to. Fuck yes. 
Not the times two. Give me more than that. There we go. I like that. Ooh, I like that. Oh, give me that 20x3. I want that 20x3. Fuck. I would hope I would actually be at the arcade if I was dreaming about it. I don't know if I actually finished that thought or not. Hell yeah. I want the 250. Give me that 250. I'll take that. Making good use. Ooh, I got a card. I got a card. Which I still don't know what it does, but I got that card. I have to change it. This knockoff caravan. Anyone listen to uh, the new... Um, Vampire Weekend? I heard they put out a new album. No, this is another... I have not had a chance to listen to it, but I love Vampire Weekend. Or I used to back 50 years ago when they released their last album. <laughs> it's good? Where does it rank? I need a, I need a ranking system. Is it better than Modern Vampires of the City? I just got two letters with one coin. I didn't even know you could do that. Pretty all right. Haven't listened to them since the third one. Was that their third? I thought this was their third. Is this their fourth? They did A-Punk, which was on what was on? What was the name of that album? The one with the lady's face on it. I would not call them. Contra, thank you. They did Contra, they did Modern Vampires of the City. Was there a third that I, I'm not thinking of? I listened to them a lot in junior high. And then I listened to them a lot in college when Modern Vampires came out. Oh, self-titled. Okay. Okay. There we go. Okay, so my multiplier does not carry over. I kind of thought that it did. Well, I am excited to listen to it. Because I am a big fan. Or I, I was a big fan. I guess I'm still a big fan that doesn't listen to them because it's been so long. Yeah, the coins fall out now, but I still don't know of their value. I don't know... I don't seem to be getting more credits. Which is how coin pushers typically work. Maybe I am getting new more credits and I don't notice. Um... I don't really know. Yeah, see, I should have gotten more credits for that. I don't think anything happened. They convert into tickets? Okay. Better than Contra, same level as Modern Vampires? Okay. Ooh, I'm 26th. Where's, uh... How do I... I know, it looks like I can scroll that leaderboard, but I don't know how. I don't know how to get my mouse over there to scroll up. The Blaze, one, two, three. Thank you so much uh, for those bits. Buttons, 97. Thank you for the prime sub. Suspooky, 999. Thanks for the prime sub. Comrade Cooge. Thanks for the seven months. Hey, Ian. If a Catholic monk goes scuba diving, does he become a deep friar? Yes. Uh, yes, he does. I, I suppose that he does. Wolfie V, thank you for subscribing. Cisco Frost, thank you for the five months. Ah, five months of Brutal Moose. This is better than fresh baked bread. MJ for life. Uh, not better than fresh baked bread. No way. Uh, but MJ for life, yes. 
Athena Zilla, thank you for the prime sub. Musha178, thank you for the 14 months. Mm -hmm. Woo, more months every month. Can we see the band play, pretty please? Sure, we can stop by. Uh, I think I have their music on. Let me make sure I have... Ooh, I should save. I just saw the can't save thing. Okay, okay, music's still on. Oh, I should have played again. Because I, I had it all lit up, but that's okay. I need to save. Moving on up. I'm at 285. Better watch out. Okay, I'm going to save. Yes. Did I save? I guess I saved. I used to get confirmation that I saved, and I guess not anymore. Joanne VR, thank you for the prime sub. Yumi Doodles, thank you for the two months. Love your content as always. Channel 1990X, thank you for the prime sub. Camera Pixels, thank you for the 23 months. Alien Alice, thank you for the 27 months. Enjoyed the arcade video, Ian. Hope you hope your player two and you also mm, enjoyed your time at the arcade. We sure did. We would have stayed. Well, I don't know. If that's true. I was gonna say we would have stayed longer if the children children hadn't shown up. But you know what? I actually did go. I went back to main event because I wanted to do a couple other pickup shots to use in the video that I thought would improve the video. And there were like three or four buses of children there, and so we walked in and literally turned around and walked out and I just made do with what I had I'll, next time I go I know what I need to film that I didn't film the first time so next time I think it's gonna like I don't know I think it'll be a better it'll be a better video Hoskimus thank you for the prime sub 2H fan club thank you for the 20 months Var very Varikia Varikia Thank you for the five months. Just finished the new video, dude, and wanted to say it was fantastic and fresh. Catch you on Moose 2. I will see you there. Coco Jammin, thanks for the prime sub. Cats doing meows, thank you for the 13 months. Stabler Cake, thank you for the 14 months. And Thai Noodles, thanks for subscribing. I should be all caught up. Which means it's time to dunk. It is time to dunk. So what do you guys, it sounds like, it sounds like final season, uh, is upon us. It sounds like a lot of people are studying for finals. Anyone else doing anything interesting? Anyone playing Dunko right now? Besides me and Crazy Carrie? <laughs> Covered in orange fur. Finals, switching to another university. Okay, we've got a nice mix of things. I cannot help you, Stabler. I cannot help. Finish your finals. Dunkoing food into your face. Well, I hope anyone that had, uh, had or has finals, I hope those go well. I do not miss finals. Um, I'm not great at like, I was I guess I don't have to do it anymore, so I don't need to be great at it. But I was not great at studying beforehand. I was, surprise, surprise, I was a cram studier. Uh, so I, I would study last minute for everything, which just made finals the worst. Yes, I'm terrible at spelling. I, I'm not good at the spelling, not great at the reading, um, which also makes that... A little bit more difficult. 
Ooh. There it is. Give me that bonus. Setting up a rooftop garden? That's cool. You were a smart kid, so no one taught you how to study? I can, uh, that makes sense to me. That makes sense to me. Didn't learn how to study. I still don't think I learned how to study. I don't think I ever learned how. I ba I mean, I did my, obviously I did fine, but I was mostly because I'm just good at, I was good at taking tests. I, even if I didn't really know the information, I just, I feel like I was good at taking tests. Usually study an hour or two before an exam. Don't they tell you to not do that? I mean, that's what I did too, so don't. It worked for me, but I think they tell you not to do that. Whoever they is. The, the masters of studying, supposedly. I also just didn't have a lot of interest in a lot of the subjects. I think that played against me. I was... I was obviously I'm I'm sure most people are better at the subjects that they're interested in, but I really just didn't have much. I was kinda into math up until a point. My more advanced math was not taught by a teacher that I really enjoyed. Are you joking? Are you junkie me dunko? Ah! Oh. You like math? I liked math. A uh, math math made sense. I really liked geometry. Um because there were always alternate ways to solve things. I guess that's the same with math. You could you could attack a problem from different angles, which which I appreciated. Also, later on I learned how to program uh my TI calculator, which was uh, helpful. Where's that 20? Where's that 20? Give me that 20. Where's that 20? Okay, seven at two. These people are getting dunked on. Give me another thousand. Give me that thousand. Show me that thousand. No. Show me that thousand. Mm, what a hamburger. Ooh, I'll take it. I'll take it. I'll take 300. I'll still take that thousand, though. No. So I cheated with my calculator. I mean... You could make the argument that uh, I cheated with my calculator, but I feel like you could also make the argument uh, that most people would not try and do calculus without a calculator. So, you know, you know, right? What really frustrated me, I didn't actually get to calculus, I stopped at pre-cal, but there would be things that we would be taught on a calculator, and then come test time, we couldn't use the calculator, and it drove me crazy. I just could not fathom a situation where it would ever be useful. <laughs> Not allowed to use calculators and calculus. I just don't... I don't understand. 
pre-cal was harder than calculus. I'm glad I didn't have to go. Uh, my pre-cal class counted as college credit. It it should not have, but it did. Um, so I, I kind of lucked out. I do remember the Block Dude game. What, is that what it's called, Block Dude? Or was it called something else? Maybe it was called Block Dude. I remember that, though, for sure. Ooh, I'm 15th. Watch it. Watch it, other uh, fellow Dunko enthusiasts. Your teacher let you use the TI programs you wrote to solve problems. He said it was because creating the program required a sufficient understanding of how the math... See, there you go. That makes sense to me in my brain. Um, I guess that's what I did. Dunko dudes. I really like... I surprisingly liked my speech class. Um, even today, I think speaking makes me really nervous and I, I still don't feel like I'm all that great at it but I really enjoyed my speech class I even took another one it was called communications in college um, which I enjoyed Ooh, there we go I want the oh give me the oh no Is the first really one million? I can't see up that high on the leaderboard yet, so... There's no way the first is one million. Oh my god, I see her! Look, it's ca crazy Carrie. She's 11th. Don't you have something else to do, crazy Carrie? Don't you have something to do besides playing Dunko? Shouldn't you be doing something? Not that I'm trying to get you off of Dunko or anything, but... Oh, that was dumb. That was dumb. That was dumb, I didn't like that one. The coins are getting stuck a lot on Dunko now. You had to just leave the house. Okay. Well, don't worry. Your score is safe. I definitely won't pass your Dunko score. Absolutely. I would never dream of it. I won't hit a bonus. And I definitely won't get the 20x3. Well, that, that one's true. I might get the 7 again. There's the 7. Give me that thousand. Give me the thousand. It's actually fun to have someone on the leaderboard that I want to... Yes! That I want to beat. Adds another layer of excitement. Ooh. 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 Where are we at? Oh, I still got two more credits before I can check the oh, leaderboard. Wow. Where are we at? Show me. Oh. See, we definitely won't pass you, Crazy Carrie. There's no way I'll be able to get 600 more tickets. I absolutely will never get 600 more tickets on Dunko. 600 tickets that never happens. Mm 
Oh, there it is. Ah, garbage. Garbage. I don't have a Grinch smile. It's a genuine smile and support for a fan. I want you to win. <laughs> I'm a nice guy. I wouldn't root for a fan's demise in Dunko. Oh, that was it, yes. Give me the bonus, bonus, bonus. Okay, this is it. This is it. This is it. Not a five. Don't want, don't want that five. Okay, I'll take the seven. I'll take the seven. No. I want more than that. I want more. There it is. There it is. Take that, crazy carry. You take that. But definitely not just out to, uh, crush anybody's score or anything. <laughs> the upshot is I don't play much, uh, I don't play much coin game on my free time, so you've got a lot of time to, uh, to, to take the crown back. If I could play this game on a Switch, I absolutely would be defending my high scores. Oh my god, that was amazing. Where's my... Oh, I still have 10 more uh, credits to spend. Oh! Skill shot. Ooh! Give me the D. D, D, D. D, D, D. Uh, I want that D. Give me the D. Oh! <gasps> oh! Would the game sync on the Switch? See, it would have to, to be acceptable. I, it's never going to come on the Switch. I mean, it, maybe it will. I, I don't imagine it will, but... We're at ninth. Oh my god, you weren't lying. Number one really is a million tickets. Slim pasty. But I can see the top of the leaderboard, finally. I don't think I've been able to see the top. Yeah, it's probably all they do when they- though, I will say, I don't do much more. Dunko has definitely become my go-to in this game. I should play something else, though. Now that we've k k, -k crushed k, k k crazy carry, uh, we could maybe play something else. Is this eSports? This is my kind of eSports, yeah. If this is eSports, then I'll get invested. Dunko World Championship. You know I'd go if there was one. I mean, I see, the thing is, I've thought about this. I could arrange, like, if I got some friends together, we could do, like, a stream where we maybe race to a certain amount of tickets, but I wonder if I might have an unfair advantage just having played so much already. But, I mean, there's a lot of luck involved, so... You never know. See ya, Alio. Submit this game for AGDQ. I feel like I would be a disaster on Games Done. Can you imagine me on a GDQ? I feel like it would just be... A, just a terrible mistake for everyone involved. Merry Christmas, Alexa4077. Thank you for subscribing. Cyberjax5, thank- Whoa. Cyberjax, thank you for the $5. I just watched your most recent video. I loved it. It was so comfy. I'd love to see more stuff like it. Thanks so much. I'm glad there's a camp for both. I'm glad that people can enjoy my frantic, brutal foods editing, but also there's appreciation for the slower stuff because I, I do like to make it. Mecha 
Mecca Gorbachev, thank you uh, for the three months. Kyla, thank you for subscribing. And Fom Taro, thank you for the 10 months. Did you see that the Planet Coaster people are making a zoo game? I did, and it looks kind of amazing. Oh, look at our pile of tickets. Um, I'm really excited about it, actually, because um, Planet Coaster was super good. How do you speedrun Dunko? Uh, you get to the top of the leaderboard, I guess. I win a million tickets at GDQ. It takes me a couple days. See ya, Carrie. Good luck reclaiming that score. I look forward to uh, trying to beat you later on. What about Mist? What about Mist? Ooh, I'm gonna go pick up my, um, my exclusive Riven, uh, damn, development art today. My sister has it. Okay, we were gonna go listen to Teddy perform. Okay, I'll just go ahead and and remind every. Well, and maybe not remind. Maybe it's not obvious. Oh, there's no music playing. I am a man of many ideas with little time. Uh, sometimes when I say we'll do something soon, it's like I I want to and I I plan to, and then things change. I get other ideas. Um, same with the merch. It's it's hopefully coming, but. Uh, I've got other stuff to do. There we go. Oh, he's got a spotlight now. Check it out. Oh, I can't go through him anymore. Oh, no. I'm going to get stuck. I'm stuck. We got to wait for them to play again. <laughs> My bad. My bad. Um, yeah, I did. That was a little more, I don't know, not intentional, but I was just kind of goofing around. I, I didn't really want to get stuck back here this time. This is still a thing because it's awesome. It should still be a thing. Would it be the coin game if we weren't stuck behind the curtain? It's curtains for you. Someone could be beating my Dunko high score right now and I'm trapped. I'm probably gonna wind it down soon. I don't feel, I feel, I feel nauseous and it's not going away. So I'm probably going to wind it down soon. Um, I probably do need to eat. Like I said, next time we stream, we will, uh, we're going to try and finish up Sonic Adventure. Uh, I have not eaten yet. And I probably have not been uh, drinking enough water either, you know. Next time we stream, I'm going to try and finish up Sonic Adventure. I don't know what comes up after Sonic Adventure. I, I have not... Uh, I have not thought that far ahead. Hopefully mail time. I do have some mail that I need to go pick up. Again, it's just... It's, it's really... Mail time is a matter of when I can get myself to the uh, UPS store. Which doesn't seem... I mean, really, it probably shouldn't be such an effort, but... Honestly, getting me out of the house is a is a pretty huge effort. Anything that takes place outside of my house, uh, you know. Oh my God, they're back! Okay, we're free. What 
Kyan SG, thank you for the two months. Thank you, thank you. I actually think I will. I think I'm going to wrap it up. I think I'm going to wrap it up. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. Sorry this wasn't a super long stream. I, I Honestly, I'm glad I got to stream it all. Just because since I just got back from a trip, I didn't, I didn't know that I was going to be up for it. Um, but this was fun. This has actually reignited my love for the coin game, which we haven't played in a little while. Uh, which is exciting. If you have not checked out my new video today, please do. And if you have, thank you so much for watching it. Uh, when I get back on Wednesday, well, I'm not getting back. When I stream again on Wednesday, we will hopefully be finishing up Sonic Adventure. I may try and start a little bit early just so we have enough time to make sure that we get it done. I'm assuming that's going to be a longer stream just because uh, we have to get through the three stories plus... Oh my god, these fucking hoverboarding robots are amazing. Plus the uh, supersonic whatever. Uh, but thanks so much for watching. I really enjoyed... I had a lot of fun playing the coin game. I always forget how nice these uh, these chill streams are. Not just, hopefully, for you guys, but for me, too. I, I need some chill streaming, too. So thanks for watching this and the video. Thank you, everyone in the chat, everyone who is lurking, and everyone who is watching on the VOD. Uh, it means a whole lot to me. And I am excited to see you on Wednesday for some Sonic Adventure. All right? All right. Take it easy, everyone. Best of luck on your finals if you're taking them. And um, be sure to come report back and uh, let me know how you did. Good or bad. We can, uh, we can be happy together or we can say, you know, fuck finals together. You know, whichever. See you, everybody. See you next time. Here I go. Here I go. I'm looking around for my stream deck. It's too far away. Here we go. Oh, a song just started. <laughs> good night. And now, folks, it's time to say good night. We sincerely appreciate your patronage and hope we've succeeded in bringing you an enjoyable evening of entertainment. Please drive home carefully and come back again soon. Good night. Good night.